Shalom family. So I, I always get excited and I keep an eye on this. I, I check in on the Temple Institute every now and then. They're leading the charge and the planning and the prepping and the everything for the rebuilding of the third temple. So it's interesting to see what they're doing and what they say on their pages and so on. It keeps you up to date. Very interesting because it's prophecy unfolding in front of us. Um, and the latest story out of Israel is Israeli politician carves stones to build third temple. A video was posted on social media showing former Knesset member Moshe Faglin near the town of Eli carving stones for the third temple. Now, it's interesting and it's a really, it's, I watched the video, you can see he's really into it and emotional. He means what he's doing and he's excited about it. Faglin recited a special prayer before taking up a hammer and chisel to carve the large stone. The prayer asked that just as we carve the stones to serve God, he should form us to serve him and that just that the stones will be steadfast in the service of God. So we should be steadfast in our unity and love for our fellow man. We are in a very special generation, he adds at the end. And he's right. This is a very special generation. It is the final generation. Ha'akaron in Hebrew in the Psalms. This is part of an ongoing project in which the stones are stored for future use. Unlike some politicians, Faglin is a man of unwavering ideals. In 2009, he told the Jerusalem Post that if he was elected prime minister, he would rebuild the destroyed temple in Jerusalem. He would make a point of retaking that entire temple mount from the waqf and giving it back to Israel and then finding a way to rebuild the third temple. So this is not just fringe elements or ultra-religious elements or anything. This is across society that Israelis are calling for and feel the need for rebuilding their temple to have a proper showing of their Jewish state and a Jewish nation. And the Bible says there'll be one. The Antichrist will walk into one and commit the desecration there, the abomination of desolation. So it is coming and we can see all the preparation for it in place right now. The Temple Institute has got a Temple Academy, a field school for training priests, the Kohanim and the Levites for service. That's been ongoing for years now. They've used uncut stones from the Dead Sea as per 1 Kings 6 verse 7. The Temple Mount Faithful led by Gershon Solomon has prepared the cornerstones for the new temple using diamond rather than steel cutting tools to keep it biblical. The six-ton stones were consecrated with water from the Pool of Siloam. Stone quarry has been found with blocks in various states of readiness, and they are now carving and prepping the rest of these stones. Uh, two red ephors, three years old and above, you know, all these things are falling into the place. They know who their high priest is. They've got him. They've trained him. They've prepped him. He's been practicing. He's kept one side. They're making sure that if they build their temple tomorrow, he can step in and start doing his job. They've got the songs that they're practicing. You can find them on the internet and listen to these people singing and practicing songs for the worship services within the temple service. They're prepping all these things. They're constantly practicing everything that is in the daily schedule of the temple. They've got an entire schedule already written out that details the daily hourly duties of the entire priesthood that will be part of this temple. All these things are in place now. It has never been in place before. 2,000 years since the last one was destroyed. This one is ready to go. They just need someone to make it possible. Oh, wait. The Bible talks about that. There's probably someone that will make it possible. Yeah. Coupled with a peace treaty and a period of a week and, and peace and stability and security for all. We are not destined for wrath. So we will not be here for that. But we see how close we are to leaving by seeing all these things fall into place. And that is why we pray even harder and more urgently for the Jews and for Israel and for more of them to have their hearts of stone replaced with flesh, to have the scales drop from their eyes and for them to realize Yeshua is their Messiah so that they may escape that 
which is lying ahead for this last week for Israel. God bless. Keep looking up and stay excited. Shalom.